What did you give up for Lent? I really don't know, honestly. I'm still working on that. Being ugly. Well, well, he, that's all he, he gave up that when he was born. <laughs> I really don't we know. We, we need up. to work on what I'm giving up for Lent. I don't know. Are you physically able to lick your elbow? Ooh, no, I am not. I am not try flexible anyway. enough to Could do you that. Try well, to. I'm in a suit. I can't. You may remove the jacket. Okay, I'm removing the blazer. See, I'm just not flexible enough. That's as close as I get. And then my neck and shoulders start. My tongue is really short. It's if like. I doesn't do anything. Okay. It was a noble effort. It was good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, wait. I gotta redo my button. It suits nothing without the button. Don't let it pop off. I know. I get Whoops. There we go. All right. What brand of socks are you currently wearing? Uh, they would be Adidas because Adidas is pretty awesome. But now that I'm moving to Eugene and it's Jacktown, USA, and uh, Nike is really prevalent there, and Nike's given almost $200 million to the University of Oregon, I think I'm going to start wearing Nike a lot more. What are your views on global warming, on global warming, oh. and the climate crisis? I honestly think global warming is a load of crap. I'm sorry. I just don't believe the whole carbon dioxide is making us warmer. I think there's many pe there's a model that talks all about the sun's heat that shows the sun just goes in cycles. And guess what? That causes the earth to go in cycles. So all the global warming people said that this winter was gonna be like the warmest on record. And guess what? It was freaking cold. Guess who got that right? The people that did the solar predictions. And there's also stuff that in like the 1200s, it was really, or in the 1100s, it was really warm. And then in the 1200s, it cold, cooled down a lot. It was almost like a mini ice age. So the sun just kind of goes in fluctuations and so does the earth. It's not, the humans, humans might have a small effect on it, but not enough to drastically change the planet. Thank you. Do you believe in the paranormal? The paranormal. Um, I really don't know if I believe in the paranormal. I think aliens are a load of crap. They're just not out there. What? I'm That's sorry. Not, aliens They're, aren't what we'd call okay. alien alert. We're just bringing aliens yeah. into this. I don't believe in aliens straight what about up. UFOs? Aliens no. aren't really UFOs can be aliens. explained. <laughs> There's aliens, UFOs, not real, ghosts, no. I Area think. 51? No, it's a load of crap. Somebody just wanted to sell some bumper stickers. Do you believe in cryptozoology such as Bigfoot and La Chupacabra? I do not. I don't. I, I could believe in someone's like soul like watching over someone like a guardian angel like they were helped or something by God. What about Nessie? Nessie's not real. So you live, you believe, but I believe in the paranormal on a religious basis. I believe that like a guardian angel could help you or God could help guide you or something but I do not believe that spirits could could haunt someone or really hurt someone in any way. Was the suffering of the victims of Katrina just? Just? It's that's not really a question. I, I mean, did not. It was a natural disaster, and then the. Um, We're skipping that question. The transfer of information that's from the from the city level. To the state, to the federal, was really bad, and it didn't get better till the U.S. Army came in and fixed it all. Because the U.S. Army can just, you know, fix stuff. <laughs> How old is your dog, Buddy? Oh, my dog, Buddy, is—he'd be 15 and like five months. He was nine months old when I was born, so he's a pretty old dog. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck? Alright, let's see if we can get this. A woodchuck would chuck as much wood <laughs> as the woodchuck wanted to chuck if the woodchuck could chuck wood. And how much would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck Norris? Oh, a woodchuck could not chuck Norris. I mean, it's just impossible to the chuck The answer Norris. is all of it. Really? I, I just think Chuck Norris would drop kick or would roundhouse kick that and have a problem with that. Um 
this next question kind of takes personal offense at me, but... <laughs> David wants to know what you think is wrong with my sink. I really don't think there's anything wrong with Adam's sink. It's perfectly fine sink. Is it... Is it true that you are paid to bake slash prepare food for your family? What? No, I'm not paid to bake slash prepare food for my family. But you said you got... That was a long time ago, okay? So that was just a one-time thing? Pretty much. It kind of failed. <laughs> what is your favorite color? My favorite color is definitely forest green, without a doubt. When you move to Oregon, you mentioned that you probably won't be able to take your pool table along. In this case, where will it go? I am really not sure at this point. Uh, I don't know. I think it should go to someone who's really deserving of a pool table. Not entirely sure who that would be. I think Adam does have a fairly strong argument. I have Crohn's. <laughs> Kevin, you can't always take it. I don't know. Why would a disease warrant a pool table? I mean... <laughs> I don't know. My st like my stomach hurts, but I can play pool. Yes. I don't. I'm, I, we're still working on the details of who gets the pool table, basically. Will you miss us when you're gone? I will miss you. How I, much? I don't. know. It's just with your arms. Maybe. No scale of one to ten. A scale just, of no, one just, to ten. Just, just play it with well, it's hard to. D it's kind of like a lot of mixed emotions, cause. Going to Eugene on a scale of happiness is like, a 1 to 10 is like a 10,000. I mean, that is where I was destined to live, but I definitely will miss you guys back here. So. Alright, to end our questionnaire, did you stuff your shirt with pillows? <laughs> um, yes or no? No, I see no reason to stuff my shirt with pillows. Did Nick Arada stuff his shirt with pillows when we were filming Obese Man? No, that was all Nick. That would, there was nothing <laughs> stuffed in thought. there. We, we this is for you, Mrs. Yeah, Morasky. we need to clear that up with Mrs. Morasky. <laughs> there was, that was all Nick. All right. All. Do you um, believe Kaylee Weicker is racist? <laughs> uh, I really don't know if she's racist, but I would assume that she's not because she just doesn't really strike me as racist. What does she strike you as? Good looking? I'm not entirely sure. Beauty? You can have that opinion, David, if you want. <laughs> Do you like her lips? Um... I... How do you really an David, no. <laughs> We're not going there. Well, We're Graham, thank you for your time. We will probably ask you some more questions. Tomorrow. Okay, I will okay, be here the tomorrow. Next time, next time. Well, tomorrow and Sunday. <laughs>